just across baseball, the free agent market uh, is not operating very quickly for for a number of reasons, and maybe we can get into that in just a second. But from a person like me, the outside looking in, I'm not making these phone calls. Just because deals are moving slow, does that mean also that talks are moving slow on the inside? No, you're right. I, I, just because deals are moving slow does not mean that uh, that there aren't talks. And and we've had a lot of conversations with both agents, and you know I've talked to GMs from other teams. Um, you know we've seen the last couple of years the the free agent market. You know everything kind of moved back to around when the winter meetings would be. Right um, now we didn't have a winter meetings this year, and there's a ton of uncertainty about the 21 season that that is adding to this. So things are going to be moved back even further on the calendar, but but the conversations are taking place. And I do want to get to those uncertainties uh, about 2021. And look, this is nobody's fault. This is also something that's um, not like somebody knows a secret and it is not telling us. Just nobody really knows. Like there's 162 games on the slate already. I'll be honest. I don't feel terribly confident that all of those games are going to get played or or in a completely normal format. Do you, in planning your team, do you have to look at it and say, I'm planning for 162 or in the back of your mind, do you have a plan B, C, and D? Well, both. I mean, we're planning for 162 because until we're told otherwise, like that's what we're expecting right. to play. Um, but we also, you know, I can read the tea leaves out there. I see what's going on in the country. I see, you know, what's being written about the, the commissioner's office conversations with the Players Association. And we right. know that there are there are going to have to be contingencies. And and look, we would we would love to play as many games as possible in front of fans. I mean, you, you know, you were out there at times last year. It's such a different place without people in the stands. I mean, you all you have to do is look at the opening night when when Ole hits the grand slam in, in extra innings <laughs> in front of no one. Right. And you're like, you're they like, didn't Wait. know what to do. The players did the, not know what to do to celebrate yeah. that. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm sitting up there in a suite. I'm thinking, did this actually happen if no right. one was here to see it? Right. So, right. I mean, the priority for 21 is, is got to be getting fans in as many games as possible. And if that means pushing things back a little, then I know that's what they're talking about. If it, if it also means, you know, extending the season on the back end a little bit, um, but it's so, you know, our players will be the first ones to say like playing in an empty stadium is, is not what anybody signed up for. So, so we do have to have contingency plans if, if we end up moving the season back or, or shortening it. And so to project um, the future, but as for right now in, in, in planning for it and some of the business moves and decisions that you guys are having to make, I mean, across the board, isn't it just safe to say that the business side of it is, is really affecting a lot of teams and the moves they can or cannot make. And I, and I imagine for you, somebody who's been doing this a while, this is unprecedented. I mean, there have been different teams with different budget restrictions, but right now maybe it's it's falling across everybody. Yeah, it's, you're exactly right. And I, I don't envy Dave Cavill on his side of things, trying to project revenue and, yeah. and look at what the, the budgets and finances are going to be like. I mean, it, in a normal year, obviously, we have a ton of budget discussions and we're, you know, we're, our resources are what they are and it affects the payroll and what we do. But in a year like this, where there's, you know, there's eight different projections based on capacity or season length it's it's really hard and dave's got his hands yeah. full and and you know and and then we do as well trying to figure out what the team what the composition of the team and the payroll things are going to look like 